Peace and blessings, you ugly mofos, and welcome to an episode of He Rants. I am your host, Felix. Long trousers. Ah! All right, let's not waste no more time. Let's get right into this reaction. Why would you get mad about him telling you to wear something flowy, something pretty? Before this young lady continues on, <laughs> she's asking the wrong first question. Uh, the first question is, why would he propose to you? <laughs> that's the that's the question I would ask. Why would he propose to you? Then I would ask, why would you get mad about the flowy dress? <laughs> like, because I keep the band with you. A joint that would get mad off of something like that? She's not the type of joint I'd want to marry. Just not the type of joint I'd want to have with me for the rest of her life, have babies with, right? Because how are you going to get mad? She, this is giving me feminist vibes, the, the angry feminist vibes that, oh, this man is trying to tell me exactly what I'm supposed to wear and stuff like that. He just, I bet you'd even go to, <laughs> I bet you he probably went over there and was like, hey, babe, let's go out to the park. Oh, yeah. yeah. Can you, can you put on like a nice flowy dress? I think it'll look good on you. Are you, try, are you trying to tell me what to wear as a woman? Like, it's not your place. I'm wear what I want. I'm grabbing my cargo. It's like, what? Let's keep going. Flowy. Something pretty. I seriously doubt the conversation went anything like, Put on a dress, woman. I'm pretty sure it went something like, Babe, wear, wear one of your flowy dresses today. It was probably closer to something like that. And yet the reaction was you're not gonna tell me what to do i see this so often with women they become <laughs> so nasty when their man requests that they wear something or he tells them not to wear something it's controlling i'm gonna do what i want da, da, da. like no if you're gonna be in a relationship first of all you're not gonna just do whatever you want that's not how relationships work there's give and take on both sides I just, I, I, I literally cannot understand this mentality. Maybe he wants you to wear it because he thinks it looks good on you and you look pretty in it. Maybe, but you're going to pick a fight instead because ain't no man going to tell me what to do. Man alive. Like imagine ruining your own engagement because you have your head so far up your anus. Exactly. Man, this girl, this girl got a good head on her shoulders right there, right? You know what I'm saying? This, it, it gives me a little bit of faith in humanity, right? Like, I think the future might not be too bad if there's people like this. I mean, I don't know. There's only one video. Are able to reproduce and, like, spread this type of knowledge to their children, right? Because I'm so confused on why it's such a problem, right? This mentality, just like she said, this mentality. Yeah, I'm really struggling to say mentality. Mentality mentality this mentality is blowing the hell out of me because now we're at the point that a lot of women just don't want to do anything to do to ask it's weird it's like you don't want to do anything he asks anything it's just straight up like oh nah he's trying to control me oh uh babe why are you going to the club again like bro let's just stay home oh he you don't want me to go out to the club you don't want me to have fun he don't want me to go on a girl trip you don't want me to do this you don't want to do that now something happens bad to you right let's say you go out to a club and something and a dude punches you in the face boyfriend wasn't there boyfriend or husband wasn't there right try to tell you like hey you probably shouldn't go you probably shouldn't go alone all that stuff and you probably shouldn't go in general just stay in the grip now now look what happens you know what i'm saying now who, who's the one that's dumb just like this girl look who's the one that's dumb now you look the proposal was just messed up because now you dress like a dyke you dress like a tomboy you look like his man so like you know what i'm saying and the thing that's crazy right there's probably white women watching this like hell yeah i love this <laughs> right right the reason why i'm saying that because we have this weird like little like slope that it seems like they, they 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 view black men looking for other races other than black women right and then they see white men looking for asian women rather than looking for white women <laughs> you know what i'm saying and it's like it's almost like it goes in that like line right so the white women probably look at it as like yeah because they say black women go i mean black dudes go after white women because they're more submissive <laughs> hey he said white dudes go after asian girls because they're like the most submissive right i mean i don't know you can make a far, fair argument to say the arabs but i mean the arabs might be because they're <laughs> they're being submissive against their will to a certain extent not all of them not all of them to a certain extent 
So maybe they're looking at this like, yeah, see, not all Asian women are submissive or something like that. Hey, listen, she's an American. So once you come to America, you get a taste of that, that American lifestyle, right? You get tainted and then the submissiveness and the feminism starts flowing through your veins before you know it. You're not trying to listen to anything your dude's saying, right? You don't believe you need a man, right? But yeah, man, uh, the dude, to me, um, in this video, um, he's a loser. I'm sorry. He's just a loser. Um, the reason why is because this shows me that he probably allows her to walk all over him, right? Um, he didn't even put up a fight, probably. I know he probably didn't want to put up a fight because he wanted this experience to be good. He didn't want to destroy it. Like, fuck it. She's not going to listen. It is what it is, bro. I want us to go to this place in a good mood, even though she was mad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But he's probably like, fuck it. I don't want her to get any more mad, right? At that point, it's like, yo, you guys are young. You guys look like in your early 20s, maybe mid 20s. I'm not sure. But at that point, I would say, like, okay, is this the type of person I want to be with? Somebody will get mad just for the simple suggestion of just wearing something different, something nice, because I think it looks good on this person. Is this the type of person I want to spend the rest of my life with? That's the question I'd want to ask myself. Right. And the mere fact that she did that and he was still like, I'm going to propose one of my buddies. He was planning on proposing to his girl. Right. But then. He was asking me like, oh, how much rings cost? Because, you know, I'm, I'm married and everything. Like, how much ring costs, all that? And as time started going on, he started realizing, like, I can't marry this right, bro. She's showing me this type of red flag. She's being disrespectful to me, kind of like how this girl was. Not listening to what I say. Gets angry at me easily. Do I really want to spend the rest of my life with them? And the crazy thing is, there's a lot of dudes who, for some strange reason, they're like, hey, I've already committed so and so amount of time with this person. And they're like, F it. I'm just going to stay with this person and marry them, which it's just it's just a stupid, stupid idea. When I see relationships like this, I feel like you're delaying the inevitable, right? Like you already know what's going to happen. You already know that you guys are eventually going to break up. I know like growing up in a black, uh, predominantly black area, right? I've seen a lot of girls go and get into a relationship with certain dudes and it's the same way too. You can look at the relationship even before like even when the relationship just started, oh they just started going out yesterday. You can look at them and tell like this relationship's not gonna last. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? You can look and be like, this is not gonna last. I don't know how the fuck they don't see that it's not gonna last, but hey, it is what it is. And what happens? The relationship never lasts. You know what I'm saying? It might even extend. Might F around. Somebody might get pregnant. And the relationship definitely don't last. During the pregnancy, they usually uh, uh, break up. Whatever you talking about, son. It's usually donezo at the pregnancy. Because that's when the, the anger, like the her hormones is going all over the place. He's already wasn't the best of a guy anyway. So now he's not even going to try to handle, not even acknowledge that she's pregnant. And it's just it's just a whole lot of stuff, right? So, yeah, man. When I see drunks like this, I'm just like, yeah. Uh, I would tell, if this was my man's, I'd be like, yo, okay. You proposed to her. That was already a bad move. But I would say this. This period of time, make it make it a long engagement. Make it about a year and a half engagement. And that year and a half engagement, I want you to really watch her. <laughs> like, really watch her, right? Even though, I'll be honest with you, I would still say, just watch her. Because I already know you made up your mind that you want to marry her, right? Because like I said before, once she's done this, I'm like, yeah, don't marry her. <laughs> don't, don't, don't marry her, right? Because I don't think this is the first one. But give her the one and a half, I mean, a, a year and a half. See how she acts. See how she behaves. See, she's showing you the red flags. And she's like, this is seeming like a wife and everything. But you have to watch out. She might be like on her toes because she's like, hey, I want to uh, make sure that we really fall through with the marriage. Or she could be sloppy. She might be like, hey, I already got the ring proposed to me. And he's not going to back out. Like, and maybe even lose... She might even look at you as a sucker like this nigga's not going to back out. He's not that type of, you know, that type of person. Because I feel like at the end of the day, this joint does not really respect this guy. Because uh, if she did respect it. And some people might be like, Felix, you're being hyperbolic. It's just because she just didn't want to wear the flowy dress. It's the mere fact that she wrote and said that she got mad. To me, that's giving me like feminist. I'm not listening to my man if he's telling me what to do because he's trying to control me. He thinks it's 1950 or something like that he thinks that we're in the middle east and he can just tell me whatever the hell i can do next thing he's going to tell me what i what i can and cannot eat and stuff like that that's the type of energy i'm getting for this if she didn't say she got mad it'd be something if she had just said oh he had told me to wear a flowy dress and i told him like oh, i'm not really feeling flowy i'm just gonna wear the cargoes you know i'm just trying to chill if she had said it like that then be like okay all right this girl's cool you know yeah, she's not listening to what he wanted to wear. I mean, what, what he asked you know, for her to wear. But she was cool about it. She was like, hey, listen, I'm not really feeling it. I want to wear this. Because he's an individual. That's that's fine. But you get actually mad is, is something. 
It's something. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, cause and, and be honest with you too, when he was like next to her too, and he hugged her, he, she didn't really look like she was that happy. She might have really been mad. Hey, it is what it is, man. I'll see them. Uh, they're, they're Asian, so maybe they might not get divorced. But who knows? They might be Korean, and Koreans, Koreans, they'll file divorce in a heartbeat. <laughs> they'll they'll file a uh, divorce in a heartbeat. Trust me. Them South Koreans, oh yeah, 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 yeah. They're like, nah, this guy's not doing what I need him to do. I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm out of here. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but that's all I gotta say on this, man. Uh, if you stay this long, I appreciate you. I love you. Make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as with the post notification, like, comment, all that fun stuff. That's all I got to say. Peace and blessings, you ugly mofos. And I'm out.